What's up everybody, it's Chris from Out West with Chris. Today went out with a couple of buddies up in Oregon to a really cool lake, caught a bunch of crappie. Um, some pretty good size. We are getting ready for a fish fry. Got a lot to fillet. My buddy Dean slabs. here. My, some slabs. We got some we got some slabs. <laughs> <laughs> not maybe not these ones, but these yeah. are these are these little are, these are okay. They're they're kind of small. We try to keep anything um, nine, ten inches around there and up. And um, yeah, so Dean has volunteered to show us how to fillet these crappie. Yep. I've been filleting some and it's taken uh, some time getting getting it down. Tom's right. got some going, Mason's got one going, and Dean's gonna show us what's up too. All right, so what we'll do is we're gonna start a cut right here behind that pectoral fin. If you can see that, that little bony ridge right there, we kind of want to go to the side of that. And then we're just gonna go diagonally behind that, right, all the way to the spine. If you look there, there's a line for the spine where we went right there. So we want to come in, and then we're gonna turn. And we're gonna touch the ribs it's a good knife though. It's nice and all the way down. And then as we're going down, you'll feel once the ribs stop, which is about right there. And then we're gonna come back kind of diagonally to there, okay? And you wanna leave a little bit of skin there, there so that you can actually, uh, when you flip it over, you can keep it, uh, keep it on there. And then, when we come back through, we want to do a couple cuts against the ribs, see how it kind of just opens up like that. And then once we get the ribs clear, we're going to come back through and we're just going to leave the belly meat on there and then flip it over. Once we flip it over, if you don't like any of that silver skin, you can get rid of it. I think it just cooks right off. We're going to take a nub so you can see that little piece of skin allows us to flip it over. And then I'm actually pushing down on the knife. Awesome. All the way off. So you can see not too much meat on there. This knife's getting a little bit dull, but you'll end up with nice a little bit of meat. Perfect. And then basically you just rinse repeat on the other side. Um, usually there's no bones or anything and you just gotta sharpen the knife pretty often and drink a lot of beer. Well, we've got the beer covered, we got some sharp knives, so we're gonna get back at it so we can cook some of these up for some fish tacos. Right? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Dean. Yeah. <laughs>